Around and out off target by Ashton Langford, but they'll get another look. Bouncing downstairs for Karnick. Karnick, nothing there. And that's the Jesse Edwards effect. Already a block shot and then disrupting the second opportunity at the rim. Almost three minutes in. Nobody until that moment has scored. Finally, it's Joe Girard to knock one down and make it 2 nothing. All for BC. We mentioned they're a poor shooting team. 65 points a game. They are 0 for 6 to start this one. They move it around. The fake here by Ashton Langford. Got to airmail that one. Tough rebound by Bickerstaff. Got it back to the seven footer for the basket. This has made three of their last seven after starting 0 for 3. But Obi, right now, BC has six more shot attempts already in this game. BC with six offensive rebounds to zero for Syracuse, but that's an indication that. They are clanging away, but that time Galloway sticks it. Buddy Behan coming in averaging 19 off for Swider. Jimmy Beheim with Bickerstaff on him. Pretty good duel, and he made the shot. He'll go to the line. Good athletes. As you see, Jimmy Beheim off the bounce, the nice spin move, and then, of course, he is left-handed, allowing Jimmy Beheim to score on him and pick up the foul after another rebound. Over the top, and the slam by Langford, Devon Langford. And around a logo, let that one fly. <laughs> he has zero conscience. Swider. Yes, nothing but net from three-point land. They've been chilly here tonight in Boston. It's actually thawed over the last two or three days. Here's Swider again. Yes! Well, he's starting to heat up. He'll swing it. Here's Zachary. He's cold. Post keeping it alive right back up. Got it to go. Thought he got fouled, too. Despite a miserable shooting game, they are kind of hanging in. Great job there by Buddy Bay. Had to keep that foot on the deck. And now it's going to be picked off by Zachary. In transition. Using the body. Lays it in. Shot clock to eight. Torrance usually gives instant energy. Banks it in for two. As Bayheim is off the mark. And it proved to be true. And another slam by Langford. Boy, they worked that twice to perfection. Getting out in transition, the finish over the top. And just like that, it's a six-point game as Boston College, even though they're not shooting the basketball well, have done a great job playing with energy. Beheim with a quick release for three. When you see him get a wide-open look, everyone just says, oh, no. Ashton Langford weaving his way in. Pretty shots. And now you see Boston College taking advantage of those opportunities. Buddy on the loose again. Uses that backboard so effectively because he was a master at using that glass. And that is a great comparison and, of course, a compliment to Buddy to ever be compared to the great John Havlicek, the best bench player wow. of all time as Langford has now started to find some confidence. Buddy lets fly again. And we've seen... Several games this season, you and I have called several orange games. He plucks away the rebound. Syracuse on top by nine. Swider, yes. Boy, was that true. Thanks a lot. But it's not way. something we really want to talk about right now. Quicker staff, nice give underneath. That post will finish that. Believe me, I've tried it. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a while. I don't think you're alone there. Bam has it slapped away. Look at the seven-footer handle it. Post into the lane, a little Euro for two. That they had a year ago, but Coach Grant not as concerned about the wins and losses as he is coaching the behavior and the attitude of this program. Battling for the rebound, it came right to Jimmy Bayheim knew exactly what to do with it. Bayheim a little turnaround. It gets started for two. Great footwork by Buddy, going baseline and then the spin. This is where Syracuse is dangerous when they have numbers in transition. The turnover by Gerard, great job by Bickerstaff. And another slam by DeMar Langford. It's the third time. A little eye contact there. It was a little kinetic energy between the two, Obi. No question. No question. Like, that's how they grew up. Bayhai banks it in. Syracuse on top, 38-26. Long one here, Ashton Langford, and he'll bury that. Their second three on the evening. A foul number three on Jesse Edwards. So he has to step aside. Shovel pass and an easy deuce there for Bickerstaff. Yeah. 
petitioning to allow him to play next year. And I hope they, they win that because that would not only give Jimmy an opportunity to come back. And then I believe that will be a huge part of the success of the league next year if you get a number of these guys, older guys, coming back as Anselm is able to finish off a nice feed from Gerard. Yes. Gerard scoops it up, thought about a triple. <laughs> he did. Yes, he did. And I tell you what, if he would have shot that and it didn't go down, please believe he was coming out. Swider fires and hits. A two-pointer. He's on the heights here. Beautiful bucolic setting. And our officials went back and added five seconds to the game clock early. But again, that's the right type of three that Earl Grant wants to see. Attacking the paint, touching the paint, and finding a shooter, of course. If you're Jim Beheim, you love to see Cole Swider. So 13 minutes left in this contest. BC in need of a bunch of these and knocked in by Jaden Zachary. They want Swider to touch it as much as they can, the way he's shooting the thing. Here's Gerard again. Yes. So far, better second half for Joe Gerard, which he has done throughout his 46-year Hall of Fame career, defending his players, Galloway. Hits one. It's been a long time coming tonight. Quinton Post, really good work there to keep it alive. And a block by Anselm. Well, I guess they don't need Edwards so much. <laughs> well, Anselm doing a great job covering up the rim as well. And another long-distance three by Cole Swider. And Syracuse getting great looks, sharing the basketball really well. BC dodged a bullet on that. Ashton Langford with a quick strike. Virginia joins that conversation with Notre Dame now. Beheim had it knocked free. It came right to Anselm, and it's going to slam that one down. Ashton Lankford with a quick dribble. Zachary lets fly and bags a three. 26 point game against Virginia Tech. So these guys can be productive on the block. It just hasn't been consistent. Buddy to Jimmy and drops in two, 60 to 47. Because there's that many Syracuse fans in the building, he honestly thought he was at home. It truly are. Heavy traffic and an opportunity for three point play. Demar Lankford showing you that strength takes the hit. Ashton Lankford. Bounce feed and a slam by Post. And Lankford high up with a rebound. On the breakout, Zachary. And it's going to roll in and a foul on the play. Closest since it was 26 to 20 Syracuse in the first half. Gerard gets it. Boy, and that one hurts the Eagles. Zachary steps back, two-pointer, swishes that in. But it's still a good possession for Syracuse because you pretty much killed 30 seconds on the clock. Ashton Langford, wild shot, gets it to go, an acrobatic bucket. Boston College really hanging tough much of the night. Has got off to a dismal start shooting the basketball. Post with two more. He's had a double-double tonight. Long distance and knocked down by Zachary, but they needed a lot more of those earlier. Zachary can't knock that in, and that will do it. Syracuse is going to come to Boston College and win again. Jim Beheim makes it seven straight wins over the Eagles. Final score tonight.